Okay, good afternoon, PA Figs here. This is gonna be try number two at a watermelon wine blackjack. Uh, if you haven't seen the video that I did previous to this, go ahead and do a search and you'll see that the fig was infested with muley bugs. So here's the second one. And I've left one unbagged and one bag just to see you know, if it makes any type of difference at all. And you can see it is definitely as ripe as it could be or at least as ripe as it's gonna get because I have to leave. We're going away for a little bit of a trip. So it is in the bag, protected. Now granted, I only put the bag on maybe a week or so ago. So things could have gotten into it beforehand. But let's see what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get it out of the bag here. This is a very large fig. All right, look at the size of that sucker. That is a ginormous fig. Really good size to it. It's nice skin cracking. Everything you want to see in a fig. But I do see those white specks around the eye. Let's see if I can get closer here to the camera. Which always worries me that it may be mealy bugs or eggs of mealy bugs. Well, only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and crack her open. All right, you ready? Cross your fingers. Well, good news is there are, as far as I can tell, no millibugs. Do a quick look. No, it looks pretty clean. Bad news is, it still doesn't look like it ripened properly. I mean, you saw it hanging on the tree. It looks like it needed more time, but, geez, I don't know. Just uh, may not be a good fig for this area. Let's go ahead and cut it again. So far, it is not, uh, not doing wonders here. But, at least, this one is clean enough to give a taste test for flavor. So let's go ahead and try it and see what it tastes like. Mm. It is extremely watery. Extremely watery. We have had a wet spring here. Not much flavor to it. I mean, a little flavor. I can understand the watermelon description. It's definitely got, you know, like when you bite into a watermelon, it's not as sweet as a watermelon. Maybe that's where the wine comes from. It's got a little tartness to it. But yeah, I could definitely see the watermelon, actually. It's not real flavorful, but it's not like that, you know, pop in your mouth. But it, uh, it has that lingering aftertaste. Yeah, I could see why somebody would call that watermelon wine. Huh. I was a little skeptical, to be honest with you. But uh, I could definitely see. Now, that being said, it's, it's not going to rank in the top ten of my figs in terms of overall flavor and sweetness. But it is a big fig, and it, it is tasty. And tasty is... is it's very subtle, like a very subtle flavor to it. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm trying another bite. It is not, not like a cucumber, how cucumber has a very subtle taste. If you took a cucumber and mixed it with a watermelon, that might be the taste you kind of get. Hmm, well, it's interesting. We'll see how it does throughout the year. Maybe it'll surprise me, but uh, definitely an interesting fig. Alright, this is Watermelon Wine, Blackjack, and I'm P.A. Figs. Keep on figging.